Okay, recipe four out of the canning book, we're gonna make strawberry jam. You can get strawberries from a farmer, the store, or grow them yourself. Make sure to wash your fruit wherever you get it from. And if you're gonna grow strawberries yourself, I highly recommend um, growing a lot of plants. Strawberries need time to mature and they need a lot of space and a lot of plants to produce enough for you to need. So you're gonna mash up your strawberries like this. I like mine to be thicker, but you could also blend it together to be more of a puree kind of texture. It will break down some as you're cooking it as well. Add some lemon juice and your pectin to make it gel. I actually doubled this recipe because we go through strawberry jam all the time, so I want enough for the year. Make sure your jars are getting prepped and I'm gonna throw in some vanilla beans. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. These are Madagascar vanilla beans, so I just chopped them up. These are two beans worth and I'm going to cook them along into the recipe. It's gonna give that subtle vanilla flavor that's just gonna pop and make your strawberry jam even better. So once the strawberries have cooked down for a little bit, you're going to add your sugar and make sure all of your sugar is set aside because you wanna add it all at the same time. This will help it to meld together better. It's going to thicken up faster and you're going to want to constantly stir it. The thing with jams, jellies, and preserves is it's really easy to burn the bottom. So constantly keep stirring that until it's this kind of texture. It will also thicken up and gel inside of the jar over time. So once you have your jam or jelly into this texture, you're gonna skim off the bubbles like this. Um, I didn't really get all of them, I got most of them. I'm not too concerned about it, but I did it anyway. We just don't want excess air bubbles inside of the jar. And I'm not sure why that was slow motion, but we're moving on. All temperatures need to be the same across the board, so hot jam into hot jars. And I went a little crazy on this. I was watching the camera instead of my jar, so I went way too much in here at first. But it's okay, this happens, it's going to happen to you, and it happens to me all the time, you just keep moving on. You don't need to be a master canner in order to do any of this stuff. And as you are getting all of it into the jars, make sure you're getting those vanilla beans out because we don't really want them inside the jar. Get all the air bubbles out with either a plastic utensil or just tapping them on the counter very lightly. That will move the air bubbles from the bottom of the jar to the top. Wipe the rims with vinegar to get all the yucky goop off the sides. And you're going to water bath these completely submerged for 10 minutes once it's boiling and give it a home for 24 hours that's out of the way. Like and follow to be on this canning journey, we're gonna go through 400 recipes.